I've been a member of the Tobacco Retailers Alliance for about 25 years. In the last two years, our numbers gone up by about 10,000. I feel we've had an increase in members because there has been no consultation between the government and us about ways of stopping youngsters getting hold of cigarettes and the government's proposal to put them under the counter is not feasible. There has been no concrete evidence. Other countries have tried it and failed. Legislation banning the display of cigarettes could in fact force us to have to close. The government should address such problems as proxy buying and smuggle cigarettes. I feel the government are using this as headline grabbing. It's not practical. Tobacco is the key mechanism to bringing the customer in. To buy cigarettes plus all the impulse things, less profit and less money into the till. This is obviously bad for the shopkeeper. Tobacco gantry is very important because we want to serve the quickly as possible to customer because they want to go to the job. I don't like sell the cigarette to the children and if we think and we have a doubt, we are always asking the ID. I don't like to see them smoking because I, I have my own children. Everybody knows that if something is unavailable, if it's hidden, the young people want it all the more and by God they'll get it. Cigarettes are a legal product. So why on earth hide them under the counter? After all, you can only sell them to people who are 18 or over. The current legislation, providing it's enforced, is quite adequate. Glasgow has a particular problem with smuggled tobacco. It's readily available at the Barrows, which is a market. Customs and excise I do know do the best. However, uh, the Members of Parliament really ought to be focusing on that and not banning gantries. I don't believe tobacco causes the Glasgow police many problems. However, alcohol certainly does. What next? Is alcohol to go under the counter? I mean, let's take the obesity problem. Put all the chocolate bars under the counter. Do we hide them? Where does it really stop, I ask you? Small independent uh, shopkeepers like myself rely on tobacco customers coming in daily, buying other products. The, Proposals uh, is probably the biggest threat to small independent shops since the supermarkets. 45 to 50 percent of our sales are uh, tobacco based but uh, the margin on the other products we sell is uh, much higher and that's where we make our profit. Violent crime is on the rise, theft in small shops is quite high and if I'm bending down to get cigarettes from under the counter I don't know what's going to face me when I come back up. I'd like to say to my MSPs Please shelve this mad idea for good. In this uh, recession hit times, I can't afford it.